Oh, morning. You all right? Some lovely houses along here just before you get to College Lock, which hopefully will be the one and only lock we're doing today. We are quite low on water, but we've got enough to see us through two days. Uh, we've got two days of rain coming after today, and that's why we've moved really to get a little bit nearer. So we're hoping tomorrow up below the lock there by Shugborough Hall. Um, get rid of the rubbish, do the loos, uh, and we've got water containers so we can fill them up at the tap. So all should be good. Now you will notice the little Dixie's gone. It started to rain a little bit and we're just up to College Lock. As I said earlier, hopefully this will be our one and only lock that we'll, we'll wait to see. I think a boat's just gone in ahead of us. And this lock is one of the most picturesque locks on the network. And that wasn't easy to say with these teeth. Well, I've just walked up to the lock. A boat's just gone up. Uh, there's one coming down. And then I can bring chugs in. We've got a boat coming behind us, so I may pull chugs a little bit further forward. But sometimes when you're here, that cattle, all that cattle, comes over this bridge and has a good look at you. What a beautiful little overflow here at College Lock. It truly is beautiful here. Apart from the firing range <laughs> over in the woods. You may remember on the trip down I mentioned that these gates are very heavy here and they are but the CRT have put extra little weights on the balance beams. Where are we? Let me get my finger right there. There! Extra little weights on the balance beams to help. So uh, they do help a little bit but they are still heavy. And of course College Lock will always be known as Dixie's first lock. He's in the boat with Lily and Noah at the moment, and Dale and Primrose are in there with him, so he's fine. Hopefully, he'll be back on the roof shortly. But it's a lovely little lock, this. Definitely picture postcard. We really don't have far to go now to our mooring, so it's a nice gentle cruise. Hopefully, as I say, that one lock will be it for today and we can get more in and stretch the water out for a couple of days. That's the idea, because otherwise we have to go through one lock, uh, up the lock there at Great Haywood and head towards Tixel uh, and head towards the junction there at Great Haywood for the staff some Worcester to get water. So we're hoping we can stretch out for two more days. I'm sure we can. Uh, yeah, just get a peg for your nose if you come near a chance. Just coming up to Shugborough now, so I'm going to moor up. Uh, Nicky's going to walk with little Dixie and take him for a walk. He's down there. Hello, Dixie. Hello, Dixie. So he's going to go for a walk down there to see if there's moorings under the bridge further on, which is where we'd rather be just beyond the trees there is the very beautiful Shugborough Hall. Well Nicky's just messaged me on the walkie-talkie where we wanted to go under the bridge up there. Unfortunately there's no spaces but apparently there are some a little bit further up here. So we'll just move up just a little bit. But we're looking forward to having a walk back through the grounds of beautiful Shugborough. So we're moored up. It is quite nice. It's not a bad moor in here. Not ideal. It's not ideally where we want it to be. We want it to be under that bridge, but this will do us for these two days of rain that we've got coming in. 
uh, Shugborough Hall is just over the hedge here somewhere. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's over there somewhere. And we're hoping to go and have a walk through there. Um, yeah, good morning for a few days. Good morning. It's Sunday morning, the 21st of August. I've just let little Dale out on his own this morning. Uh, Primrose is in the boat uh, with his mum, and so is little Dixie. Dixie is actually in Nikki's pocket in her dressing gown, uh, just having a nice chill out. But I've let Dale out on his own. Dale tends to run off about two boats away to go and have a poo. And that's difficult if I've got Primrose as well, because Primrose might go one way and Dale will go the other. So we have to ensure that we pick up, obviously, when they've been to the toilet, we have to pick up. So uh, one dog at a time this morning. But we do have a plan. We're low on water. We are low on water. Uh, the weather forecast has changed. Apparently, it's not going to rain today. We'll see. But we do need water, so we're going to go up, we're going to go through the lock and then attempt to find mooring. That's what we're going to do. We've got a load of washing uh, and four bodies to clean, so we need showers. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And true to form, off he goes. That's one boat. And he just keeps walking, he just ignores everyone. I could shout him and shout him. And he won't come back, so I have to walk with him until he's happy to go to the toilet. Yeah, good old tail. Well, we've just got to the lock and uh, one boat is coming out. So Nikki's just jumped off and we'll be going straight in. If you're wondering where the doggies are, Primrose and Dale are in the boat, they're in the saloon at the front. We've sort of locked them in there uh, just to keep them safe. There's usually lots of activity at this lock, uh, lots of dogs and stuff, so at least we know they're safe there. Uh, and little Dixie is with his sister, Lily's looking after Dixie, on the bed just down here. So uh, he's nice and safe. Getting him used to all the noises and things that uh, he's going to have to get used to. And to be honest, he's doing really well. He's really not bothered. And we've got a boat coming up behind us and that kind gentleman has offered to close the gate behind us so uh, Nikki can jump straight on board. Now we're just heading to the water point. Look at that gap. That's chugabug size, but it'll probably be gone. We do need the water point, which is just past the junction here. We need to empty the toilets, do the bins, everything. Um, so who knows, I'll, uh, I'll reverse back and have a look if there's a gap still here, or Nikki will take the walkie-talkie and let me know. Great Haywood services and Anglo-Welsh boats are just over there and that's where the Elson Point is. I think they've got an agreement with the CRT that you can use their Elson Point. So the CRT must be funding them in some way, I don't know. Just at the end here, just around the corner, behind that black fence is where you get rid of your rubbish and we've had to get rid of five bin bags. <laughs> five bin bags this morning. Topping up with water, as you can see. Uh, we're not holding anyone up, there's room for another boat here. Uh, and there are two taps. There's another tap. It looks like it's not working. 
but it is so we've got the washing machine working uh, this morning so as we can have some clean drawers for tomorrow it's all good Here we are at quite a breezy, very breezy, Great Hayward Junction. It's Friday, the 2nd of September. And yes, we've been here a while. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Yeah, you'd have noticed there at the beginning, the cheese boat. We're just moored by the cheese boat now. There's been a few traders here. By the way, the cheese boat do an excellent chili and lime cheese fantastic and the pickled onions they sell are excellent just thought i'd fill you in on that one uh, but we've had a few uh, a few uh, traders here we've had the plant boat selling beautiful plants although he's finding it difficult at the moment with the season and the weather uh, he's finding it difficult um, and then we've had ferns fenders which we took advantage of um, i always wanted some more rope fenders on the front of chokes uh, so lovely Wayne and Joe came along and helped me fit some new fenders here, which was good um, I'm so pleased now with the bow of chugs. It really is lovely uh, We had the oat cake boat here with all the crew. Uh, unfortunately, they've gone now, but their oat cakes were beautiful um, Trying to think beans Sausage and bean oat cake. I think Nikki had but it was nice tasty friendly crew uh, sadly they've gone now we got up one morning to get a breakfast and uh, they've gone uh, what else has been happening oh lots yeah we've been moored up here for some time with martin and julie on rhapsody in blue having uh, nice coffees in the evening and some cake because uh, let me tell you julie makes the best cakes uh, so we've had cakes, uh, it was lovely spending time with them, but they've gone up that way uh, to Tixel Wide and we're going up there on Monday, hopefully, and joining them on Monday and doing some fishing. So that'll be good. We've met up with Carl and Paula Wood, um, who are subscribers and supporters of the channel and it was great to see you guys. Uh, nice surprise. He's got cracking eyesight. He was on the road bridge, which is right over there on where Maud somewhere over there and he spotted chugs so well done carl i'll give you that one um i'm trying to think of what else we've had all sorts happen let's have a bit of a walk and i'll have a bit of a think just by the old toll house here on the staffs and worcester they used to collect tolls when you come off the staffs and worcester and go on the trent and mersey or come off the trent and mersey rather uh, and get on the staffs and Worcester, you had to pay a toll to use their water. And you'll notice a narrowing here. So uh, there would have been stop gates here at one time. Not a lock, just stop gates, just to stop you and get your pennies. Yeah, we've had fun doing things to chugs. Uh, I mentioned about the fenders. Um, we've also bought some pots and some plants. Uh, Nikki loved her gardening. Uh, so we've got some lovely uh, winter pansies and something else, which I don't know what they're called. Um, <laughs> but they're lovely red ones. We've got those at the bow. But Nikki's got the boat looking amazing. She really is looking lovely with all these flowers. And I'm looking forward to seeing them blossoming. Um, yeah, that's good. Campsite over there. May be able to see some teepee tents. And there's another narrowing. This is the aqueduct over the River Trent, just down there. We're also never going to get a cold or flu, I don't think, this winter. Uh, we picked some elderberries and lots of them. And uh, Nikki's going to make some elderberry robs. You might have a go at that later on this afternoon. Um, you add sugar, 
uh, to help give it life and ginger and cinnamon uh, we've got everything on board now and she's even bought some lovely little storage jars uh, so I'm gonna start heading back and some lovely little storage jars to uh, to keep it in so I'm looking forward to trying that well part of me is part of me ain't but I'm sure it'd be lovely because Nikki is excellent at making things so uh, yeah we're all looking forward to that apparently you can put a spoonful in a cup of water I think that's the best way to have it or you can have it straight off the spoon so that'd be nice I love cinnamon I love ginger not too sure about the elderberries. And that brings me to why we have been here so long. Um, we had a problem with chugs. Um, I don't want to be all doom and gloom, and that's why I'm not telling you what went wrong. But something quite severe uh, went wrong with chugs. Nothing that can't be fixed, and indeed it is fixed now. We had an overstay authorised by the local CRT officer uh, for us to stay here as Chugs really wasn't safe to move uh, at the time. So it was all made safe straight away. It's no big, big deal. Um, but we've had to have quite a major job done with Chugs. Um, so that's why we had to stay here in case you're wondering. It was fully authorised by the CRT. They were fully aware that we were here um, and are fully aware that we are here so we're not breaking any rules whatsoever and to be honest with you the CRT have been excellent with us so that's good nearly run over that lady look <laughs> um, and the CRT have been excellent with us um, we have had all the work done now uh, but we are staying here for another couple of days it's authorized um, just to make sure that everything's spot on um, the lovely people here this boatyard Anglo Welsh have been amazing let me just say they are amazing you can say what you like these guys have been amazing with us they've been so fair they give us excellent uh, workmanship they've been very trustworthy they've said they do what they're gonna do and they've done it uh, and specifically uh, a young lad called David who has been working on our boat he worked quite hard there for a few hours uh, yesterday sorting things out he's done well let me just say a few jobs on chugs one of which really really did needed doing but uh, something i could have done without <laughs> but uh, it is what it is and uh, there's not a lot you can do about it if we want to cruise and we want to be safe this job had to be done but uh, yeah that's why we're still here but i just thought i'd bring you up to date today not cruising not moving for another couple of days just yet um but uh, we'll be moving hopefully on monday and we're heading up there to tixel wide when it's a two-week mooring up there and i believe that's uh, under another crt officer but of course we'll be leaving here so we'll be good for a couple of weeks but yeah we're going to get moving again folks pretty soon It has been very, very busy here at Great Haywood, and of course last weekend we had the bank holiday. Um, got another weekend looming, today is Friday. Oh, and another thing that happened, I've got to tell you, little Noah's friend Sam came down with his mum Elizabeth, and they camped on the campsite, which is just opposite uh, Great Haywood Junction here, uh, and they camped for one night. And the kids had a ball playing on the field. It was great, we give them a hand putting the tent up, and then the next day we took the tent down for them. But it was brilliant, their first time camping. <laughs> So well, that's it. I think I've brought you up to date. If there's anything else I've forgotten, I'll tell you when we get going on Monday. I won't be filming this weekend uh, as we're just sitting there. That's all we're doing. We can't really do a lot. Um, we did go in Shugborough. We have walked around the Shugborough estate, which was excellent. Uh, Nikki's mum and dad and of course the kiddies' uh, grandparents came down for the weekend and we had a ball. We walked around Shugborough. Um, we went up to Cannock Chase which was gorgeous it was an old tank training ground 
in World War Two, the area we, the area we went to. We went in the woods and then we walked through the heather. It was absolutely gorgeous, um, and they were on a campsite up there, so that was good to see them. Oh, and of course, how could I forget? It was Lily's birthday. Uh, yes, Lily turned 11, and that's why the grandparents came up, Peter and Val. They came up to help <laughs> celebrate Lily's I know birthday, we won't and know, she really. had a great day. She said it was one of the best birthdays she's ever had, and uh, yeah, we spoiled her. It was her decision what we had for dinner and tea and everything. And yeah, it was varied, but it was nice. We had a lovely day, lovely walk through Canic Chase, though it was it was brilliant. Just so much has happened here. Um, we love it here. Uh, so much has happened, and it's it's really hard to remember everything. I don't do a script. I, I just do it as I think about it. But uh, yeah, wonderful, great Haywood. Just going back to the boat now. It has cooled down. I think Nikki's making a nice soup for tea um, and the kids were playing hopscotch but they've got their crayons out here and they're drawing lovely pictures on the pavement here's the hopscotch and of course it isn't crayons little Noah's just told me it's chalk but they're drawing lovely rainbows and pictures they did do a lot further down but I think the rain that we had overnight has washed it away leaving the kids drawing well that's it um, you're basically up to date so as I say I won't be filming until we move the boat probably up to Tixel um, and that's only about 10 minutes around the corner uh, we'll use the services again um, we've been there this morning to the services by the way just to do everything with the boat including fuel so we're fully fueled up um, basically ready to go we're going to have a few nights at Tixel uh, come back use the services and then we're on our way back across the Staffs and Worcester and then before you know it We'll be back on our favourite canal the Shroppy the Shropshire Union and making our way to our friends uh, Simon and Tracy up at Norbury and looking forward to staying there for a bit uh, We'll keep you in touch uh, Thanks for your support and everything guys and believe it or not over the last week or two. I'm so glad you've been there Take care. See you soon